So every now and then here on Good Day, we like to introduce you to someone we think you should know about, someone special. His name, Richard Capizzi. He was a celebrated pastry chef. He worked in some of the most prestigious restaurants in the world. But sadly, he passed away in September after battling cancer. His brother, Paul, runs our technology department. And he helped us tell his story. Crystal Young takes a look at the legacy of Richard Capizzi. Richard Capizzi was rich in spirit, much like his name suggests. His family and friends called him Richie. His hallmarks, a big smile and big heart. His brother Paul says from the cradle to adulthood, there was fierce determination that weaved through everything he did. So as a kid, he was determined to jump as far as he could on his bike, right? Uh -huh. um, and then as, a, as an adult, he was determined to, to be the best pastry chef he could be. Richie's love of the culinary arts developed in high school after working at a local bakery. They took an interest to him and he leaned into it. Um, and then he quickly said he was doing great and he said, you know what? I'm going to go to CIA, Culinary Institute of America, and we were like, but you got a great job, like, what are you doing? And he yeah. said, no, I'm going. And okay. he went. After a stint in Vegas and an apprenticeship at the Grand Hotel in Monte Carlo, Richie came back to the States and was quickly hailed as the pastry prodigy. In 2003, he won the title of Pastry Chef of the Year and was the youngest and first pastry chef ever to sweep the competition. Then he began working for legendary chef Tom Miss Keller. Mentoring Richie um, was, was fairly easy because he had he had the the inner strength, right, to pay attention, to be part of part of a, a team, to want to succeed in any way he can. And he was willing to do anything he needed to do to succeed and, and make that impact, not just on our guests, but more importantly, his team and those people around him that really um, uh, kind of migrated to Jim because of that, that smile, right? That sense of energy, um, you know, he was a magnet. Under Keller, Richie became pastry chef for both Per Se and Bouchon Bakery. Richie was the kind of, kind of guy that said, chef, we need to add things to the menu. And I'm going, Richie, why, why do we need more, need more items on the menu? He said, so we can teach, right? More technique. After his passing, Chef Keller posted a heartfelt note about working with Richie on his Instagram. He praised his positivity and enthusiasm. Like many of us who work long hours, Chef Richard Capizzi had two families. His second one was here at Lincoln Restaurant at Lincoln Center. Chef Artem Orlovsky remembers him as patient and kind. They worked side by side for five years at Lincoln and at events all over the city. He always had time to teach. That's one of the most important things that I really take away. It's uh, working extremely hard and have time to teach no matter how busy you are. In 2018, the U.S. Pastry Competition gave Richie a Lifetime Achievement Award. It seemed he was on top of the world. But in 2020, Richie was diagnosed with glioblastoma, an aggressive form of brain cancer. He found comfort in continuing to do what he loved. He never once complained. Yeah. Never once complained, never said, why me? He just, he just went with it. And I got to give him credit because... You know, you look back and you're like, oh, how does somebody do that? Right. Where does that come from? So I got to give him credit. I, I think I look back and he was the strongest person I know. After a brief medical leave, once he returned to Lincoln, his first day back was more like he never left. That's another inspiring thing, right? Like you're, you're, you're essentially know that the end is near, but you still push and you still don't give up and you still keep going, which is, I never met anybody like that. Gretchen Witt calls him beyond dynamic. She's the founder of the 15-year-old nonprofit Cookies for Kids Cancer. She met Richie years before his diagnosis when her son Liam was battling cancer. There is bar none, not another person on the face of this planet who is as magnanimous, as caring, as passionate, as determined, as loving, as just, I, it would give you the shirt off of his back mm -hmm. if that's what you needed. 
chef Richie Capizzi was meticulous about everything he did in the kitchen and beyond. He was a master woodworker who transformed his house room after room with his carpentry skills. This gorgeous crown molding was the handiwork of Richie. For his wife Phyllis, daughter Felicia, and son Gianni, they are reminders of his perfectionism and passion. Whether you left his restaurant, you left his home, mm -hmm. or it was cutting down the Christmas tree with his family. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he truly made it special, mm -hmm. and he wanted to be sure that you'd remember that experience for the rest of your life. On September 24th, the world lost a bright light, but it's clear Richie Capizzi touched a lot of people in his 45 years. His chef jacket from the Lincoln is a treasured memento. Framed articles and awards now hold even more meaning. Do you miss him? Not a day goes by that I wake up and I don't think about Richard uh, in, in one way or another, you know, if it's, you know, like if I have a problem or like whatever, and I'm like, okay, how would he handle it, you know, or like what would he say? Never, ever once said no. Never, ever once told you that he was too busy. Never, ever once made you not feel like you weren't the most important person in the room. We mourn Richie's passing and everything that he, he represented and, and the love that we had and everybody had for him and the love that he had for us. So how do you measure a life well lived? Is it through accomplishments or the people they've taught through family? In Richie's case, it's all of it. Many believe if we continue to talk about the people we've loved and lost, then in a way they never die. If that's true, Richie Capizzi will live on forever. Crystal Young, Good Day New York.